Hey y'all, Mike and Tammy here from Carving Out Time. This week we are in one of our favorite places, St. Augustine, Florida. My friend Patty drove over from Orlando to spend some time with me. The first thing we did was we went to the lighthouse. 14 stories up, did I mention that I'm terrified of heights? There was no way that I was going up all of those steps and then not going outside. However, the wind was really strong, so strong that children were not allowed outside up there and I'm scared of heights and actually got blown back a step as I walked all the way around the lighthouse. I had to have proof that it was actually me up there doing the videoing, so here it comes. But then after that, I had to go back down all 219 steps. We also decided to go by the fort, where because of the nor'easter that was blowing through, water was actually coming up over the seawall. The waters were incredibly choppy, and yes, I did get wet while I was filming this. Where we were staying was near the intercoastal and had a creek that led into it. So we walked down to the dock so we could watch the sunset, and there were crabs crawling up the pilings. The floating dock was really interesting to watch the sunset off of. Videoing how empty St. George Street is. It's normally difficult to get around people. And now there's hardly anyone out at all. Coming up to one of our favorite restaurants in St. Augustine. In fact, we made a trip to St. Augustine for this restaurant for our anniversary one year. After dinner, we decided to take a walk up to the plaza where we saw just some really interesting things, some beautiful stained glass windows, and just a walk that we've always enjoyed being able to take. One thing we've always wanted to do in St. Augustine is take a sunset cruise. Thank you everyone for joining us on uh, Florida Water Tours. Come on back, spread the word, we're the best boat on the water. Decided to go on the Old Town Trolley Tour. So he went back to doing what he knew best, and that was being a pharmacist. So he opened up the old drugstore across the street to your left. Now back then, you didn't have to go to the uh, doctor's to get a prescription filled. Nope, you just went to your good buddy's door, the pharmacist, knocked on that door, told him your ailment. He'd get in the very back room, make you a nice little tincture he would. Now he added spring water, some brain alcohol, and one of two of his top secret ingredients that was hidden on the very back shelf. Folks, that was cocaine or opium. Now we know that didn't take care of that ailment, but with a few swigs of that, made you feel real good. 66.2. Oh, that's heavy. I'm lifting it. It is heavy. One, two, three. Oh, 
our sheriff, Sheriff Joe Perry, and yes, this is life size. He is six foot six, 350 plus pounds. Now, ladies, don't get any ideas. He is a married man after all. He's a, well, this was a real good shot, so y'all wanna make sure you don't get too close. Now, he's a whole lot of man, so go look right on his good side, but if y'all find it, I recommend you stay on it. Because if you get on his bad side, well, very bad things tend to happen. If you need an example of what I mean by that, just follow me this way. All right, this here is our Attitude Adjustment Center. If the sheriff don't like you, this is where you're gonna end up. He probably won't like you, don't take it personally, he don't like anybody. He might toss you in the stock case for a few hours, they'll realign your back. But the sheriff's favorite thing is that right there behind me. This is called the bird cage, and the sheriff, he loves his bird cage. Now, it doesn't look too intimidating at first, but it truly is. You see, once you're inside, that's when they lock the door. They then take the rope up top and they throw it over a branch of a tree. They're going to pull you up in the air and you'll be swinging back and forth for days, sometimes an entire week, maybe more if they forget about you. Yeah, while you're up there, you got a great view of the city, the birds, and the trees, along with the approaching thunderstorm. That being metal, you don't get hit by lightning. It has happened to a few men over the years, and well, they're no longer with us. You also notice there ain't no toilet in there. Now that's bad enough when you're inside the bird cage. Obviously, but you want to keep that in mind even when you're outside of it. You want to watch where you walk. You want to look up with every step. Otherwise, you may feel a sprinkle from someone's tinkle. These are your windows here. Your windows will have no glass and no pretty little curtains, just iron bars. These we are what is called an open air jail. What that means is whatever's out here is going to be in there with you. All right, y'all, this is our gallows, and we are a hanging jail. We've had eight documented hangings. Notice the emphasis on the documented part. There may have been a few that happened that the sheriff just didn't want anybody to know about. He's just that kind of guy. But for the men, when you first come here, you will report here very briefly. Because all the men will be part of our chain gang. What that means is, you get this fine assortment of jewelry here. Now, if you don't want any company here, that's fine. We can accommodate you. Just act up a little bit and you'll end up in that dark cell right there. That is called solitary confinement. And you'll have no company other than mice, up, yeah. spiders, and roaches. Once you're inside, you can't see your hand in front of your face. But that's not the worst part. The worst part is that there's no bed in there and there's no bucket. That is death row. That is where they put you if they're going to hang you. Now, as I look through that window now, I can see the gallows clear as day. But like I mentioned earlier, you typically wouldn't see the gallows. You have to build your own for your own execution. They want you to think about what you did. Did you know? Just hanging man ain't punishment enough, apparently. All right, y'all, welcome to the kitchen. Now, ladies, as you saw, your cells are right across the hall there, which is very convenient. Because y'all are going to be spending more time in this here kitchen than yourselves, which at first sounds like a reprieve. Get away from that terrible cell. The problem is, though, this here oven, it burns 24-7. And this is by far, without a doubt, the hottest room in the entire jail, and that is saying something. Many women have passed out in here. Some even died in here from heat stroke. So what I recommend y'all do, you get some water from the well and you dab your forehead. Because you ain't leaving this room till your duties are done, or you aren't dead. Those duties will include making food for the sheriff, his deputies, any of their friends and family visiting them, and of course, every single inmate. There's a whole lot of us. But our diet is so simple, though. Uh, do any of y'all like to eat grits? Good. Oh, wow, you were very excited about those grits. That's good. You see, for breakfast, you get a choice of grits. Or no grits. But our grits ain't got no butter, no salt, no pepper, and no taste. You enjoy that water down, Sam. <laughs> see, that's for breakfast. For lunch here, you get a nice, hearty helping of beans. You want to Oh, and then for dinner, ooh, for dinner, you get a nice, hearty helping of more beans. At that point, once you have 110 men eating beans all day and night, you're going to appreciate this is an open-air jail. No, it's not. But this is a photo of him. That is Sheriff Joe Perry at 14 years old. Now, he's sitting down in this photo. If he were to stand up, he'd be about six foot one. At 14 years old, he's a big, big boy. That's his father in the corner, who's a Baptist minister. Mother in the background. One, two, three sisters. And his little brother. Now, now first thing I want to point out to you all, that is our sheriff up there. That is a life-size representation. He's a true monster of a man in more ways than one. No one has ever escaped from here. Trust me, we've tried. It is designed and built by the Poly Jail Company from St. Louis, Missouri. Now, to say the Poly Jail Company did such a great job designing this place, they actually earned themselves a contract for a little island off of California, y'all may have heard of it, called Alcatraz. 
They actually designed and based Alcatraz off of this here jail, which says something about our legacy, which isn't a very good legacy, though, you see. The average sentencing for a man here is four to five years. But life expectancy, one to two years. Sickness runs rampant. You have that many people grouped together around those disgusting buckets. If one of us gets sick, we're probably all going to get sick. You have that many people grouped together as well. Fights happen. Arguments happen. Death happens. Guns off. This one is 22, and We finished out our trip to St. Augustine with another of our favorite restaurants where we sat outside with fans and shade and had a wonderful lunch.